Please be seated. Provost, graduands and honoured guests, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation day and a warm welcome also to those family and friends who are joining us remotely. We meet today to recognise the outstanding achievement of students at Imperial College. Ultimately, our time at Imperial is measured and recognized through our academic accomplishments. But today is about so much more than that. Today, we recognize as well sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity of culture, diversity of ideas, the willingness to volunteer our time for the benefit of others, and most of all, the continued commitment to excellence and the betterment of the world around us. For more than 60 years, Imperial College students have graduated in this hall. These ceremonies have proceeded through times of hardship and of prosperity, 
through times of peace and of conflict. Conflict has been on many of our minds lately, and no doubt the war in Ukraine has deeply affected many of our students, including, I'm sure, some of you graduating today. In times of such grave uncertainty, we yearn to know what the future holds for us, to know that tomorrow will be a little bit brighter than today. I've reflected lately on the words of one of the college's own Nobel laureates, Dennis Gabor. His own life was one shaped by conflict. Born into a Hungarian Jewish family, he fled Nazi Germany for Britain in 1933. Writing about war and other threats to society, he coined a now well-known phrase, the future cannot be predicted, but futures can be invented. We all play a shared role in inventing the future, both in the literal sense of invention, as it happens here in the college, but also in the broader sense in which our everyday actions bound the possibilities of the future. The engineering training that you have received at the college has given you the tools for invention, but it falls to you to decide what kind of future you are shaping. A more prosperous future? A kinder future? A peaceful future? Or a future in which inequality and conflict are yet more deeply entrenched? Let us look to the example of those who came before, like Dennis Gabor, like our other Nobel laureates, including Abdus Salam, pioneer of Electroweek Unification, like the college's pioneering women academics, Margaret Fishenden and Letitia Chitty. Imperial College does not lack sources of inspiration. But moving forwards, remember that while we now stand on the shoulders of giants, in future years, yours will be the shoulders upon which others stand. As you proceed to the next stage, whatever that might be, I ask you to remember those shoulders on which you stand and be clear-eyed about how your choices affect our shared future. Be kind, treat others with respect and empathy, be innovative, make change, start something new, seek knowledge, but always for the betterment of humanity. Congratulations on all that you have achieved and best of luck with all that is to come. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends. It is my honor as Provost of Imperial College London on behalf of the President and members of council to welcome you to Graduation Day 2022. Before we begin, I want to echo with Lloyd to note that we're an institution that are deeply concerned by the tragic events in Ukraine. Our hearts go out to all of those who are affected and we will do everything we can to support them. Imperial has always been home to brilliant students and academics of all nations, including those who have fled their home country. And as Lloyd noted, some of those come of greatest achievements come from refugees like Dennis Gabor. And that will remain so. We reaffirm our commitment to international collaboration and to welcoming students and academics from every part of the world. But today I want to salute our graduates on your success. Congratulations to you. You've worked hard for this momentous occasion and you have earned these celebrations today. Any graduation is, of course, a big achievement, but you've arrived at this one after navigating some rather extraordinary circumstances. But you've adapted, improvised, and innovated through the especially difficult times we have faced. And through it all, you have excelled. The pandemic, 
has created new challenges to the ways in which you completed your studies and you rose to those challenges with determination and creativity. The long hours of work that you spent in lectures, laboratories, libraries and online have expanded your horizons both intellectually and socially. Yet you kept focused and kept moving forward even when it felt like the world had come to a standstill. Many of you went further to volunteer and support your local communities. And you can be very proud of yourselves for persevering and showing such resilience in the face of adversity. Now this graduation is a bit different and perhaps not the one you were expecting or indeed hoping for. While we have all of you here in this wonderful building, we are missing your crowd of supporters and cheerleaders. Even though they're not here in person because of the constraints imposed by the pandemic, our enjoyment of this day is still very much enriched by those who supported you during your studies at Imperial and are watching this ceremony online around the world. Your parents, grandparents, mentors, extended family and friends have all been key parts of your networks that got you here and were there when you needed them. They share in your triumphs and take pride in your accomplishments. So let's show our appreciation to them now. And also your professors, teachers and staff who have shared their knowledge and sparked your curiosity and imagination as well as broadening your horizons are crucial to you being here today. They're dedicated researchers and educators and acknowledged leaders in their fields. They went to great lengths to ensure that your education was of the highest caliber. They have shown you the importance of having high standards and dedication. So let's thank them too. As you walk across the stage of this inspiring and historic hall, we're all very proud of your achievements and applaud your many talents. In completing your degrees, you've faced many challenges, both usual and unusual, but you have learned both about your subject and about yourself, and you have succeeded. I know that your experiences during your time at Imperial will serve as a guide to you as to navigate what lies ahead. You leave Imperial with the confidence to take risks and to be creative. I have no doubt that you will continue to grow as experts in your chosen fields and to develop new approaches clever solutions and compelling ideas that will guide us all in the future. I remember graduating myself from Imperial many years ago and the very real sense of accomplishment that accompanied that event. My experience here opened new horizons for me and it spurred me to explore the world both geographically and intellectually. I hope that you will find also that it does that for you. I found a lasting joy in learning and discovering and using that knowledge to make some difference. Your journeys are only just beginning and I hope you remain curious and retain a sense of wonder about the world throughout your careers as you continue to learn. And as you go into the world, I would also urge a couple of things on you. First, to do what is right and not what is just easy or enjoyable. Accomplishment takes hard work and graft and some difficult choices. The status quo always requires some modification and new ways of working are always needed to make a difference. And second, approach your life with awareness of and empathy for others. Know what you value and stick to it. Society works when we think about and look out for each other. And you have many wonderful role models in the Imperial graduates who've gone before you. You are now joining their esteemed ranks as alumni of this great institution. 
You are the inspiration for and the embodiment of excellence at the college, and you join over 200,000 alumni and have the other opportunity to encourage others to follow in your footsteps. I hope you will stay connected with your imperial community. You've created lasting memories together with your colleagues and your friends. They will help you adapt and cope with whatever the future brings. We look forward, too, to hearing your stories and celebrating your successes in the future. Imperial itself will continue to be important to society by bringing benefit primarily through our ideas and our people. From excellence in research and education, in science, engineering, medicine and business, to ensuring that these have real impact in the world. So strive to do your best, never to stop learning, to extend your reach and to share your knowledge and skills. You are important. You will define the future of our world and we have every faith in you as you pursue your dreams. Many congratulations. Thank you. Provost and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Engineering. The names will be announced by Professor Anthony Bull, Head of Department of Bioengineering, Professor Omar Mata, Head of Department of Chemical Engineering, and Dr. Lorraine Craig, Associate Dean for Learning and Teaching. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners until the end, and until the end of each group. Faculty of Engineering, Associates of the City and Guilds of London Institute and First Degrees of the University. Master of Engineering, Department of Aeronautics. Fernando Acero Marquesotti. Jawad bin Junaid Adal. Enrique Alvarez de Toledo. Andrew Bates. Elisa Burkain. Guido Bleem. Melis Thea Bea Bouquet. Carlota Castro Perez. Yiftak Katz. Nathan Davy. The Finsbury Medal and the Project Merit Prize, Pablo Ferrer Botemio. Thomas Edwin London Findlay. Nicholas Helmut Furster. Jan Gao. Raul Garcia Arduengo. Pietro Girudi. Eduardo Miguel Guevara Villa. Daniele Alessandro Grillo. Michalis Hajiandriu. William Haradance. The Airbus Prize for Best Student in MNG in Aeronautical Engineering. The Airbus Prize for MNG Aeronautics Final Year Project and the BAE Systems Prize, Pablo Hermoso Moreno. <laughs> Yan Gin Ho. Hun Wei Shun Brian. Peng Chao Hu. Ioannis Ioannidis Karatsivoulis. Fahad Islam. Greg Jones. So Tet Keng. Jonathan Koneswaran, Elisa Karadotchev, the best contribution of student experience, Victor Lafuri, <laughs> Harry Lance, Aaron Lau, Jean Lonet Orlando, Tyler Lee. Javier Leguina Peral, Joel Liao, Junhua Li, Gerald Lo, <laughs> Drew.
Vu Loins, Hao Ming Ma, Donnell McManlack, Ryan McGuire, Cameron Alexander Morrison, Weiren Jasper Ern, Claudia Oliver, Joel Alvin Outshaw, Yusuf Salahuddin Patel, Jine Patel, the Project Merit Prize, Guillermo Peña Marbizon, James Permain, Irena Porto, Andres Quintea Quintanilla, Marriage Tarek Qureshi, Orchid Ramekaja. The Governor's Prize in Aeronautics, Lorenzo San Martin. <laughs> Noah Simonin, Arhant Sethia, Nikhil Shah, Jason Siahan Yong. The Aeronautics Resilience Award, Imraj Singh. <laughs> Chloe Sivak, Jake Stewart. Patrick Shuchapansky. Shakund Tambe, Jan Heng Tan, Arthur Jack Bernard Tessier, Guillermo Vargas Tameo, Ganwei Wang, Jianshu Wang, Jack Wheaton, Jennifer Kate Williamson, the Project Merit Prize, Benjamin Wong. Young Wensho, Zain Zaria, Chen Yu Yang, Pandele Zhu. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Aeronautics. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Bachelors of Science Intercalated, Department of Bioengineering, Thomas Battelle, Shreya Chavla, Sophie Marjo, now, Nima Conchu, Elizabeth Morn, Hamza Nawaz, Master of Engineering, Department of Bioengineering, Louie Mohamed Khalib Ali al Hine, <laughs> Elena Alderegwia, Isaac Bailey, Alexandra Bosman, James Brown, Sonny Berniston, Paul Cameron, Lucille Kaznev, Maximilian Chen, Abigail Collins, Serge Daniel, Eleanor Dobson, Am Maria Am Amira Alfeki, Shanila Fernandez Patel, Joanna Alexandra Filipas, Hannah Fox, Philippa Anna Furness. Yanni Jare May Bulatao Gayo, Anis Grison, Georgios Griparis, Gori Gupta, Julia Guzman Garcia, Harlambos Hajipanai, Joanna Svilena Stoyanova Harlampieva. Ryan Healy, Magdalene Ho, Brandon Gillins, 
Benjamin Jones. Antti Lankinen. Ioannis Lavetsis. Lim Wenhao. Pei Shi Lim. Marta Mambria Velasquez. Samuel Martin Frias. Jack McKeown. Daria Anna Moreska. George Morgan. Mohamed Nasser. Ray Son Un. Damien Obrekov. Eduardo Occipinti. Poppy Aldroyd. Amudena Parado Royo. Alyssa Louise Parmenta. Alfonso Parra Garcia. Rahulamin Patel. Joshua Ramkissin. Rosanna Rida. Gustav Rue de Bezieux. Abhishek Roy. Eloise Marie Christine Roses. Roxanne Saba. Kavya Sritha. Rachel Wei Swin Tan. Tofik Osama Ramses Tofik. Quain Kiran Tio. Kenzo Aki Togo. Hei Ting Bie. Megan Lorraine Walker. Benjamin James Warrington. Nathan Junjin Wong. Francesca Crystal Sui Yap. Kei Li Diao. Yu Zhao. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Bioengineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Master of Engineering, Department of Chemical Engineering, Muhammad Adam, Esther Adebajo, Ferdinand Agu, Yusuf Ibrahim Sayyid Riyami, the Roger Sargent Prize, Hassan Sherbaz, Tom Hazimrayat Andrews, Isha Boudet, Alexander Baldwin, Carl Bamer, Ilya Raymond Bin Smain, Maxim Bird, Max Bird, Arfan Haider Chaudhry, Tech Yang Chin, Toby Daniels, Matthew Farmer, Daniel Freak. Julio Lau Fumagalli Romario. Anna Garcia Gaona. Usman Hafiz. Sorry? Siok uh, Chu Han. Catherine Chaitley. Yimeng Zhao. Thomas Tarin Jurgensen. Adam Kutna, Derek Lamb, Riley Vernon Latcham, the William Peck Book Prize, Ben Laws, the Shell Prize and the Hinchley Medal, Jack Leningham, Enshu Young, Yifan Liu, Mengan Liu, Brandon Lowe, Amy Mambui Mabonga, James McNeil, Temi Majakudunmi, Abrar Masood, Katie Jane Maudsley, Sophia Mediavia Madrigal, <laughs> Komal Mehta, Hamish Max Mitchell, Chayut Morat Kotkan, 
James Morrissey, Sophia Motteo, Yash Nirmal, Sohaib Nisar, Fintan O'Connor, the Governor's Prize in Chemical Engineering, Vinay Patel, Pusaifa Patel, Ria Patel, Banu Pillay, Dean Posthuma, Jack Potter, Abirami Ravindran, Datsuko Robert, Andrea Rovelli, Miriam Sarkis, Thomas Satura, Kilan Shah, Roshan Shah, Remy Shaib, Richard Chen, Max Sifneus, the Henry Savistovsky Travel Fellowship, Anastasia Tech, <laughs> Melissa Tang, Su Cheng Tung, Damien Vandenberg, Alexa Faisi, Mohammed Wabis, Adam James Ward, Abby Watson, India Wild, Ian Wong, the Loveless Book Prize, Chloe Wong, Yu Wu, Yasmin Wolkow, Fui Ling Yap, Okay. Okay. Is that, so is that this one here? This one here. That one. Fui Ling Yap. Oh, 247. Cheng Ming Zhang. <laughs> Ming Xuan Zheng. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemical Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. Master of Engineering, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Mu'ayyid Mas'ud Sloom Ishuraiki. Semi Andrews Haycox. Tierney Bruyer Lee. Joseph Chatterton. Siang Chan. Yi Heng Che. Yi Wei Chan. Oh, sorry, that's not going on. Muhammad Deeb Shuraiki. Leon Krambad. Is that, that one here? This one. Alexi de Germain de Sifontaine. Rowan Dehal. Samuel Dibble. Matthew Downey. Michael Anthony Yorhu. Adam Joshua Goff. Dominic Gray. Ryan Grigg. Samuel Alexander William Holden. Farhan Hussein. Rima Ismail. Jamalka Karunaratne. Cheryl Yunhok Ku. Kishan Sutharsan. Chengwei Quang. Federico Nicola Latuada. Joshua Kang Ben Lim. Chia Yong Lim. Wangyang Liu. Kelvin Lo Chu Xian, Wendy Moon Luk, Wei Bin Lu, Mini Lu Son Yan, the Sir Bruce White Prize in Civil and Environmental Engineering, Louis Ma, <laughs> Antonio De Cace, the RBG Structural Engineering Prize, Thomas McLean. William Moore, 
Haya Youssef Muftah. The Ryan Sandu Prize, Laura Nakib. <laughs> um Kya Rui. Samuel Otuyalo. <laughs> Remy Pelletier. Josh Perrin. Chotdenai Bolgathaikul. Timothy Poon. The Governor's Prize in Civil Engineering, Tharit Horn Sirianat. <laughs> Maria Pochieva. Vespina Proestos. Yashvina Raventharon. Theodora Richer. Florian Roquette. Barbara Russo. Tomas Shushen. Vivek Shah. The Institution of Civil Engineers Prize, Joseph Slim. The Ryan Sandu Prize, Katharina Sroka. Lulu Walter. Kayetan Vidomsky. Emily Ho Yin Yao. Ernest Yuktung Yu. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering, Department of Computing, Helena Ann Cheryl, Serene Chontracou, Ali. Culver. The Governor's BSc Prize in Mathematics and Computer Science, Zeli Everest. <laughs> Mate Grama. Alex Griffiths. Matthew Richard Hall. Ruxandra Istrate. Harshil Rakesh Pravin Joshi. Buname Kiakilika, Amina Navasuddin, Tiratat Horaprinya, the Computing Student Centenary Prize, Governor's BNG Prize in Computing, Hashan Pushieva. Roxanne Margaret uh, Mackay Sammons. Supernut Sangwong Vanit. Rewaj Shrestha. Hans Smith Rinch. Vitali Trofimuk. Jake Walker. Master of Engineering, Department of Computing, Eleni Alerva. Nicholas Allum. Anthony Jordan Allridge. The Donald Davies Prize, Governor's MSI Prize in Mathematics and Computer Science, David Ung. <laughs> Department of Computing Award for Excellence, Natalia Ashuyevich. <laughs> Dave Schott Awal. Eric Babu. Boris Barrett. Department of Computing Award for Excellence, Christopher James Batabi. <laughs> Jed Lashik. Harry Brown. <laughs> Louis Carteron. Soin Chai. Cheryl Xiaxun Chen. Kalong Matthew Chung. Alexander Clark, Emma Florence Claxton, Catalin Krasjun, Stefan Alexandru Kutarella, Shashwat Pritesh Dalal, Emir Jack Davies, Romain de Spulberg, 
Aditan Damaratnam, Rasvan Dorobantu, the Corporate Partnership Program Award for Technical Innovation, Benito Serrano, the Corporate Partnership Program Prize, Colin Farkash, Chang Feng, Department of Computing Award for Excellence, Mayu Fournial. Boaz Francis, Li Feng Gao, Yorgos Gavril, Connor Francis Gilligan, Winton Capital Applied Undergraduate Project Computing Prize, Pablo Bellio, Ross Hunter, Isaac Jeremy Hutt, the Corporate Partnership Program Prize, Ross Irwin. <laughs> Pranav Kalidindi. Eche Kayan. Marcel Kenley. Jun Yoon Kim. Kane Knight. Giorgios Kusuris. Kai Yao Li. Guy Leroy, Andy Mingren Lee, Department of Computing Award for Excellence, Hang Lee Lee, <laughs> Yi Cheng Lu, the Corporate Partnership Program Prize, Alexis Marinoyu, the Aspect Capital Prize in Computing, Ki Chun Anson Nu. Mircea Stefan Mahora, Dragos Yon Mushan, Subash Naluru, Matei Novak, Lloyd Arthur James Olahead, George Alfred Ongeta Danioni, Eugen Ovagemian. Liam Anthony Pilot, Thomas Poynton, the Department of Computing Award for Excellence, Toma Popov, <laughs> Jack Hordy, Inara Ramji, Matthew Robinson. Saltikov Ilyas, Jayati Sarkar, William Seddon, Yejin Tsio, Enyi Shang, Nikolai Smirnov, the Microsoft Research Prize and Governor's MH Prize in Computing, Jordan Spooner, <laughs> Lawrence Squires, Ada Christina Stoinika, Chen Hong Tan, James Arthur Christian Taverna, Louis Tracy, Michael Chukwing Tang, Emma Louise Tai, the Corporate Partnership Program Prize, Dima Usinin, <laughs> Remy Uzel. The Donald Davies Prize, Isaac Van Bako. <laughs> Naman Wahi. Ningxiu Wang. Ian Yo. Xiao Kage Ying. Thomas Young. Xia Ying Jenny Zheng. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Computing. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Master of Engineering, 
Dyson School of Design Engineering, Emily Branson. Gordon Chung Yut Hay. Design Engineering, Selected Innovation Recognition, Meenal Chowdhury. <laughs> Head of School Prize, Overall Degree, Ben Cobley. <laughs> Hayden Cockrove. Ryan Dye. Institution of Engineering Technology Prize, Design Engineering Selected Innovation Recognition, Gabriel de Mone. <laughs> Rowan Dixon. Nirav Benju Ganju Gas. <laughs> Thomas Gonda. Matthew Hamilton. Head of School Prize for Extraordinary Co Contribution to the School, Michael Hoffman. Aisha Hussein, Robert Hyde, Gareth Wynne Jones, James Krzyczewski, Matthew Charles Eric Last, Nilu Penru, Keith Yu Nam Lee, Visahun Munti Vunda. Head of School Prize for Extraordinary Contributions to the School, Melissa Mukovic. <laughs> Sophie Owen. Elspeth Piedman. Omar Quadri. Governors. Governors Amend Prize in Design Engineering. Design Engineering Selected Innovation Recognition, Roxana Alia Shukarat Yali. <laughs> this one. Lair Mop Rasmussen. <laughs> Anusha Sunthalia. <laughs> Francesca Robin Sewer. Jacob Tan. Alfie Thompson, Oliver Thompson, Institute of Engineering Designers Prize, Design Engineering Selected Innovation Recognition, Frederico Julian Tearson, Christopher Turner, Samuel Joel Willis, Thomas Henry Woodburn, Richard Zhang, Pilar San Keiyu. That now concludes the graduates from the Dyson School of Design Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Taya Baziz Bandari. Sultana Mohammed Saleh. Sunjit Numbia, Class of 1974 Prize and the Governor's BNG Prize in Electronic and Information Engineering, Marco Salvatici. <laughs> Javier Torres Uribe Echebaria, Adam Urban, Sophia Wong, Ayub Azar Yusuf. Master of Engineering, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Ghazim Azari Ghazim Ahmed. Babalola David Ajose. <laughs> Zed Al Agat. Loic Alex Brown. Harrison Ashley Ankers. The Terry Wadcote Memorial Prize, Yasmin Baba. Konstantinos Barbas. Ethan Benarosh. Rahul Berry. Clementine Bia. Benjamin Biggs. Pedro Luis Brega Montero, Gustavo Brito Rodriguez, Alariki Chakravorty, Joshua Rizal Chan Ji Ren, Patrick John Chia Yi Hian, Hu Sheng Deng, the Lee Memorial Prize, Sofia de Mosca, <laughs> the Institution of Engineering and Technology Prize, Emily Florence Deneau. Mobulurin Edun, Stiliana Ilya, Jonas Freeling, 
Anuja Gaitonde, Joseph Gardner, Wesley Gaunt, Diane Graham, the Dennis Gabor Prize, Georgia Irene Elliott Cole. The Dennis Gabor Prize, Rebecca Hallam. Simon Hanassan. Fang Fang Hu. Harvin Iriawan. Alexander Ralph Yarish. Josh Jennings. George Kidd. Kevin Lam. Derek Lau. Yi Hong Lau. Rishab Manjunathan. Ryan Shaheen Mansour. Suleiman Mashini. Prepthvi Menon. The Greater X Prize, Dimitris Moniatis. Norena Naim. Omar Mutawa. The Head of Department Prize for Best Project EIE, Leszek Kordan Novashik. Efe Ofluolu. The Electrical and Electronic Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Mehedi Pari Barton. Arjun Perumala. Edward Pickup. Andre Pietreano. Tom Poskett. Basilios G. Rallis. George Georgina Ramage. Mateo Sadianovic. Edward Scaife. Constantine Florian Schultz. Alessandro Serena. Archit Sharma. Z1 C. Ollie Spillett. Edward Stables. Sam Stratton. Mayank Serrano. Robert Tan. Rohan Tangri. Katerina Tarasova. Giuseppe Terranova. Sri Thirumali Kumar. Jamie Thompson. Peter Edvardi. Kosidina Kingsley Umeibo. Dima Ushkapovsky. Willem van der Schut. Daniel Varga. Vaikun Venkat. Supurnan Vijay Raghavan. Stefan Vumirovic. Jack Waller. The Eric Lathwaite Prize, Leon Wiedeker. Jonathan Wong. Weinan Wu. Sinyuan Shu. Anirud Yavad. Shen Yu. Yaohua Zhang. Sergei Shelyabovsky. The Willis Jackson Medal and Prize, Shin Zhu. The Ivor Topper Prize, Nina Ninghui Ju. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. Bachelor of Engineering, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sinpasakorn Shiatakun. Tobias Dries. Andy Liu. Naput Namomon Kolchakit. Puntut Putamadilok. Ryan Sala. Masters of Engineering, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Ford. Ahmed. 
Henry Ford, the second Scholar Award in Electrical Engineering, Sir Bruce White Prize in Electrical Engineering, Adol Malik. Arab Prize for Mechanical Engineering, Monty Alexander. Dennis Apuntuna. John Arno. Duid Avtelchilo. Edward Bentley. Hmm? Edward Bentley. No. No. Hmm? Lorenzo Bergamitsky. Adam Baiji. Jules Bilsdorfer. Richard Brooks. Cornelius Florian Boomharter. Demetrius Haritos, Si Chai Chung, Kieran Chisholm, Zui Chu, Harry Alexander Churchill, Ben Cobb, Martina Correa, Joseph Colson, Aidan Cunnington. Kyle Anthony Henry Dawkins, Emma de Cocker, Abigail Dow, Angel Dross, James Eaton, Charlotte Eakins, Samuel Ferris, Megan Lucy Fish, Thomas John Fisher. Poppy Elizabeth Fryer, Nidai Yerdingu, Alexander John Biandro William Mendoza Goff, Elizabeth Graham, Anika Sophie Gertz, Harry Hardesty, Daniel Hare, Ewan Harris, Henry Hart. Kimberly Haryuchi, Bunyang Ho, Matthew Hole, Alexander Yukiro Hooper, Niccolo Hertz, Cyrus Katabi, Vladimir Vladimirovich Hon, Isabel Kuder. Gordon Craig Kumar, Rishi Kumamra, Mechanical Engineering, Student Centenary Prize, Navra Alali, Roy Lee, Edwin Hu Wei Leung, Brian Lim, Yashen Litesh, Zing Hao Lo, the Governor's MEng Prize in Mechanical Engineering and the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Prize, Alexander McLaren. <laughs> Owila Filosa Martins. Jake McHugh. Eitan Mercier. <laughs> Phil Wand Mesfun. Anshun Little. Itor Monreal Ursila. Daniel Sol Moses, Samuel Muirhead, Heihato Munrata, Transan Migan Gwen, Gabriel Nosbum, Mina Rupa, Georgios Marius Papasiotriu. Francesco. Chant Francesco Olivero. What happened there? Georgios Marios Popisiotro. Leo Pashov. Thomas Philip. Campbell Pollock. Richard Rajiv Ramlam. Jake Reynolds. <laughs> 
Shrifani Vuni Royu. Payman Shen. Zenten Shen. Chihanat Shivi Pomrana. Kevin Elfo Shaiduin. Benjamin Slater. Sophie Smith. Shouten Suen. Yan James Swinston. Thomas Tuck. Owen John David Thomas. Charles Titmus. Emma Bong Henrietta Umora. Gordon Way. Liam Webb. Jason Wen. Adam David Whitehouse. Andrew Harry Wejawa. Joseph Wilde. Michael Wilkinson. Joseph Williams, James Bernard Wilson, Kyle Yu, Ishmael Binzanal Abidin, Nicole Zint, Harry Tu. That now concludes the graduates. No, one more. <laughs> the department of biomedical, no, mechanical engineering, <laughs> Abraham Aslam. <laughs> that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Associates of the Royal School of Mines and First Degree of the University, Bachelor of Sciences, Department of Earth Science and Engineering, Raul Andreessen, Harris Ahmed, Ross Berridge, Hunsun Beliga. The Mineralogical Association Prize, the Governor's BSc Prize in Geology, the Watts Medal and the the Ambrosio Medal, Guy Alexander Cranfield. <laughs> Amiro Abiba Habte. Rebecca Horner. Chingui Hua. Jeanjeanu Zhang. Nia Jones. Madeline Ledlaw. Jingting Lu. Ekaterina Nikki Lavuru. The A.G. Charlton Institution of Mining and Metallurgy Prize, Vivian Mann. <laughs> Benjamin Alexander Moss. Melissa Nimrar. Nathan Noyan. Toby Omatowa. Armin Sarju. Sivam Sud. Oliver Taylor Rose. Connor Morgan Windsor. Beatu Kanto Yu. Nur Isri Natasha Binti Zumahin. Masters of Science, Department of Earth Science and Engineering, Earth Science and Engineering Student Centenary Prize, and the Warrington Smith Medal and Prize, Holly Andrews. <laughs> the Bennett Gruff Medal. Harry Brooks, Samuel Casement, Eleanor May Lung Chung, the British Geophysical Association Prize, and the Governor's MSI Prize in Geology and Geophysics, Mattia Coltrane, the Collis Testimonial Fund, Lorcan Cropper, Matthew Eagling, Lara Finucci, Joe Fletcher, Bethany May Grant. The Mineralogical Association Prize, George Headley. The Edward Ernest Gloney Scholarship, Daisy Elner Jennings Gray. The Governor's M. Psy Prize in Geology and Geophysics, Elisa Karlowska. The Illing Prize, May Low. Rory Leach. The Collis Testimonial Fund, 
Daniel Lindsay. The BP Dean's Award and the Perry Memorial Prize, Phoebe Autumn. Anna Pudlodska. Max Rolston. Holly Sarup. The Murchison Medal and Prize in the R.D. Stoddart, Stoddart Longcroft Prize, Kaya Sillett. The Ambrosio Prize and the Air Science and Engineering Medal, Adam Smith. Sequoia Trevoro. Daniel Wagner. The British Society of Mining Students Prize, Emily Nicola Walton. Isabel Melissa Wappenhams. George Luke Wiggum. Ricky Wanyarko. Flora Zhang. Iman Zubira. That now concludes the graduates of the Department of Earth Science and Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Bachelors of Engineering, Department of Materials. Li Wei Dai. Inez Diaz de Harold Rodriguez. Daniel Hu. Xi Ping Wang, Kieran Huang, Dondonat Kalnvid, Zingray Cheng, that must be Nondonat, Nondonat Kiatul Vanid, Li Song Chong, Lauren Faith Moore, Salem Raza, George Naismith, Carl Indrecht Neifeld, Zi Weng Ung, Fyodor Ruman, William Shepherd, Benjamin Barry Sims, Mirza Alisa Sharaf, The Governor's Prize, Jin Yuan Song, Sean Zhang, Bowen Zeng. Masters of Engineering, Departments of Materials, Elisa Anzini. The A.G. Child Institution of Mining and Metallurgy Prize, Abigail Abuula Grace Opiema Bombaya. <laughs> Dianu Kamrul Asmun. Materials Student Centenary Prize, Caroline Anna Bull. <laughs> Max Capert. Sion D. Souza, Sharon Dissineiku Pereira, Lok Chok Fan, Edward Gamblin, The Governor's Prize, Dylan Hall, <laughs> Jesse Larima Harrison, The Peter Pratt Memorial Prize, Nicholas Howarth, <laughs> Arthur Hearn, Eduardo Italia. Zach Jean Reno, Samima Kudroda, Thibaut Monfor Michal, the Tin Plate Workers' Prize, Michael William Blythe Nunes, Emily Jane O'Driscoll, Anthony Oyekachiku Obichuku Ombule, Haridi Podar, Radu Popescu. Jack Reed, Mattia Revka, Matthew Lucien Weiwen Chauvin, Hugo Smith, Lanji Su, Savita Sundaransen, the Institute of Materials Prize, Amy Louise Tall, <laughs> Hanson Ting, Jessica. Chandra, Lawrence Waldron, Gangyue Bua, Samuel Welton, Marta Valinsky, Joe Cheng,
Christina Kong, who was awarded a Master's in Engineering from the Department of Materials, sadly passed away during the year. Zoe Liu will represent her family today. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Materials. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <clears throat> Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Aeronautics. Atrish Mohsen. Ali Reza Razavi. Syed Idros bin Syed Abdullah. Andrea Viti. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Aeronautics. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Bioengineering. Sher Bas. Eswabom Dijemeni. Darius Lakowski. Georgios Zafiropoulos. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Bioengineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Okay. Diploma of Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Chemical Engineering. Sultan Al Habshi. <laughs> Nur Iswane Binti Mayun. Raul Calvo Serrano. Harry Cardenas Mancia. Chachun Sen. Adelano da Silva Cardoso. Arnold Durali. Arwin Evans. Andres Gonzalez Garay, Irina Haroun, Mark Antonin Isbel, <laughs> Nasrul Chohari, Tom Lindeboom, Rei Lu. The Dudley Newitt Prize for Theoretical Computational Excellence, Selene Pirola. <laughs> Andrew Russell. Ben Slater, Wanchuku Uso. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemical Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, James Blythe. Stanislav Grossman, Jan Liu, Alexander Northus. The Unwin Postgraduate PhD Prize, Boris Ochoa Tokachi. <clears throat> Adianju Ashabi Teslim Balagun, Fiona Woolport. Lin Chu. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <clears throat> Diploma of Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Computing. The Head of School Prize Year 3 Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize. Hugo Hastead. <laughs> Diploma of Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Computing, Christina Kutsumba. Chen Chin. Emanuele Vespa. 
Piamate Visa Nuvej, Yushon Cho. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Computing. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Dyson School of Design Engineering, Kamira Haziri. Ioannis Mikalukas, Ravi K. Chikval, Tanwan Tang Yu Wei. That now concludes the graduates from the Dyson School of Design Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Earth Science and Engineering, Sharizal Anu Abdul Hamid. Amr Halmida. Janet Watson, Citizen Prize, Isabel Mackay. <laughs> Godspar Oyunanu. Margaret Elizabeth Hoyt Putaki. Jennifer Quay Sawyer. Thomas David Serafini de Oliveira. Robin Domin Dobbin Thomas. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Earth Science and Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, the Earl Cadwallader Davies Prize for Outstanding PhD Thesis, Juan Manuel Artiga Ziens. Zing Hang Dong. Tommy Tario Ordon Renuela. Christophorus Pantelli. Yun Song. Firdus Ul Nazir. Yun Shon Jung. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Electrical and electronic engineering, please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. <laughs> Michelle Beck. Jingyi Chen. Giovanna Maria Matro. Sitara Monajem. Damat The Mate Prize, Valeria Nelly. <laughs> Pavel Jan Palchensky. Ahmed Shamsu. Marco Sobrana. Charles Winter. Simon Wyatt. Shantasu. Mudasir Yatu. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Materials. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Engineering, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Naomi Shipway. Diploma of Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Ruben Doyle. Hephaestathios Carlis. Sotrios Kopsidas. Shofeng Lu. Si Luan. Cheng Ma. Ruby McCarran. Francis Obiura Bubu. Aurelian Pepin, Christopher Price, Gina Corit, 
Emily Rolfe. She, wrong. Harriet Stevenson. Su Chu Tan. Yu Xia. And the unknown postgraduate prize, Wenbin Zhou. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Mechanical Engineering and the Faculty of Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Presentation of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Mr. Richard Brooks. Mr. Richard Brooks completed his undergraduate studies in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Imperial in 2020 and is graduating this year. He is now in his second year of PhD studies in the same department. Mr. Brooks decided to spend his final year studying abroad in Australia, which allowed him to avoid the nerve-wracking journey the rest of us faced while watching he and his team compete in the 2020 series of BBC's University Challenge. They won all six of their matches and went on to defeat Corpus Christi Cambridge in the final making them the overall winners of this prestigious competition. Mr. Brooks's journey to the college's university challenge team perhaps began when he restarted the Imperial Quiz Society in 2017. As chair of the society for two years, he led many pub quizzes and tournaments, as well as hosting the British Student Quiz Championships, the largest inter-university annual quiz bowl tournament. 
Mr Brooks's participation in University Challenge required a taxing round of written tests and quizzes until he and his teammates, teammates were selected to take part out of a staggering 130 other teams. Richard has found taking part in University Challenge incredibly rewarding as it allowed him to make use of his knowledge outside his academic studies and their success prompted the entire Imperial community to feel extreme pride in the college, which was particularly meaningful during the pandemic year. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Mr Richard Andrew Brooks an Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Dr. Isabel Mackay, Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Dr. Isabel Mackay is esteemed by her colleagues as a bright and motivated individual who impressively balances academic excellence with her passion for extracurricular activities. During her PhD, Isabel developed and led a half-day minerals processing outreach, outreach session as part of the Head Start Engineering Summer School aimed at year 12 students. She successfully delivered the session over two subsequent summers, adapting the content and structure based on the feedback she received. Isabel has been very active during college open days and admission days, having also volunteered to give presentations at numerous local schools, explaining her department's work and exploring a variety of earth science topics. Her passion for inspiring, inspiring students to pursue a career in STEM and her commitment to outreach is a real credit to the college. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted by, to you by the Council to award Dr. Isabel Mackay an Outstanding Student Achievement Award in recognition of her outstanding contribution to Imperial College London. Dr. Robin Thomas, Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Dr. Robin Thomas is a tireless ambassador for his field. Despite working in the sometimes controversial area of nuclear waste disposal, he shows great determination in raising awareness and improving understanding of the topic across varied audiences, including speaking at numerous public events. Robin presented to policymakers on radioactivity and the environment. He also ran multiple sessions for a variety of college audiences on the potentially devastating consequences of an environment contaminated with hazardous nuclear material. In this work, Robin has built a strong reputation that reflects well on Imperial. Robin has made a wide range of valuable contributions within the college engaging with students and improving programmes as both a teacher and supervisor. For example, during his PhD, he took a leading role in supervising undergraduate independent projects and MSc students. Robin's infectious motivation ensures that students at all levels go on to develop a wide range of research and project management skills, while also producing internationally significant research. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Robin Thomas an Outstanding Student Achievement Award in recognition of his outstanding contribution to Imperial College London.
sorry, <laughs> on this side, something side, sorry, Dr. James Armstrong. President's Medal for Outstanding Assistant Supervision. Dr. James Armstrong is a UKRI Future Leaders Fellow at the University of Bristol. He was previously a Research Fellow in the Department of Materials at Imperial, where he worked to develop new biotechnologies for tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. Alongside his pioneering research, James was a dedicated assistant supervisor to eight PhD students. He went beyond his day job to help new students integrate, always providing a welcoming and inclusive working environment that empowers students to flourish. Despite having an exceptionally heavy workload of his own, James always makes time for his students. As a mentor, he dealt with numerous challenges in an, exemplary, in, a, in an exemplary manner, being approachable and supportive beyond the call of duty. James is trusted by his students as a person as well as a supervisor. They always know that he will be available when they face a scientific problem or require pastoral support. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Dr. James Armstrong the President's Medal for Outstanding Assistant Supervisor in recognition for his outstanding contribution to education. Dr. Stuart Higgins, President's Medal for Outstanding Assistant Supervisor. Dr. Stuart Higgins joined the Stevens Group at Imperial in September 2016. Since then, he has become an invaluable team member, supporting multiple PhD students, both in their research and pastorally. Stuart's supportive and personable approach has a direct impact on research outcomes. By sharing his own expertise, he has helped students to design and develop multiple new avenues of research and to set up new ventures that have already spun out into projects. This has led to many publications, not only of his core academic research, but also on ways to improve the academic research process, such as the adoption of electronic laboratory notebooks within academic environments. Stuart has a creative and insightful attitude towards supervision. He ensures that students are empowered to offer their own insights and feedback through both virtual and face-to-face -face sessions. He understands the value of facilitating collaboration and opportunities for, stu for students to share their work, as demonstrated through his creation of a knowledge transfer seminar, seminar series and contributions to trainee exercises. He takes an inclusive approach to student support, championing student contributions at both academic and public engagement events. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Stuart Higgins the President's Medal for Outstanding Assistant Supervisor in recognition of his outstanding contribution to education. I could invite Professor Ricardo Martinez Botas. President's Medal for Excellence in External Collaboration and Partnerships. Professor Ricardo Martinez Botas leads the Turbo Group at Imperial College London, a recognized center of excellence in turbocharging, hybridization, and exhaust gas energy recovery. As part of the group, he is director of the Caterpillar Innovation and Research Center 
the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Imperial Future of Boosting Innovation Center, and he co-directs an exciting collaboration with the University Technology Malaysia, the Low Carbon Transport Center, in, collaboration, in cooperation with Imperial College London. Working with his team, he has built relationships with industry partners around the world that have enabled partners to apply knowledge to real industry challenges, such as an award-winning new turbine concept that improves engine level fuel economy. This level of industrial interest, as well as support from government agencies, is a result of Professor Martinez Botas's contribution to the area of turbine machinery and fluid, dynamic, fluid mechanics over nearly three decades. Not only does this make a substantial contribution to the college's reputation as an internationally leading institution, but it enables PhD students and postdoctoral students to participate in innovative and meaningful research. Working alongside others such as Dr. Aaron Costell, PhDs and research staff in the Turbo Group uh, has enabled this success. Professor Martinez Botas is a member of the Science Advisory Council of the UK Department for Transport and has made significant scientific contributions to air quality policy of road transport. He was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering in 2018. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Ricardo Martinez Botas a President's Medal in recognition of excellence in external collaboration and partnerships. Invite Dr. Alastair Donaldson to the stage. President's Medal for Excellence in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. It is a pleasure to acknowledge the achievements of Dr. Alastair Donaldson today. Since Alastair joined Imperial, he has consistently impressed colleagues with his ability to unite theoretical ideas with practical industry experience to ensure his research has high impact and real-world application. Among his many achievements is the development of reliable high-performance software that led to the formation of a spin-out company, Graphics Fuzz, which was acquired by Google in 2018. This has made significant economic impact in the UK and has the potential to positively benefit billions of users of Android devices and Chrome web browser around the world. In addition to his outstanding research and entrepreneurial achievements, Alistair has proven ex to, uh, an exceptionally positive and committed member of Imperial's academic community. He is a prize-winning lecturer and an advocate for open source distribution of software, which ensures truly inclusive access to his research outputs. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Alistair Donaldson the President's Medal for Excellence in Innovation and Entrepreneurship in recognition of his outstanding contribution to research. Dr. Yuval Elani to the stage. <clears throat> President's Medal for Outstanding Early Career Researcher. Although only four years post PhD, Dr. Yuval Elani has already redefined his research area of synthetic biology. By pioneering a new cellular bionics approach, Yuval's work is leading the way to establishing microfluidics as a core platform technology which has in turn led to the creation of new classes of synthetic cells. More recently, his research has evolved to explore interfacing artificial cells with biological constructs. These advances are considered critical milestone, milestones for the future of his field. 
Yuval's research has led to three fellowships and the establishment of his own research group with an independent vision. Yuval's research excellence has been rewarded with more than 40 publications, four competitive fellowships, and five prizes awarded by bodies including the Royal Society of Chemistry and the Parliamentary uh, Scientific Committee. The technology developed, technologies developed by his research have attracted strong interest from industry, stimulating funding from and partnerships with OxyBio, Ingenza, and AstraZeneca. In 2017, the World Economic Forum named him one of the 50 most forward-thinking and advanced young scientific minds in the world. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Yuval Alani the President's Medal for Outstanding Early Career Researcher in recognition of his outstanding contribution to research. Dr. Thomas Aldridge to the stage. President's Medal for Outstanding Early Career Researcher. Since joining Imperial in 2016, Dr. Thomas Aldridge has impressed through his combination of rigorous theoretical work with practical applications while maintaining excellent teaching and academic leadership. Alongside his outstanding publication record, excellent funding and international recognition, Thomas is also a great teacher. He developed and now leads an, on an online module on maths, electronics and programming for medical students on our BSc in biomedical engineering, which has reached, received outstanding feedback. After just one year in the Department of Bioengineering, Thomas was invited to join the management board of the Center for Synthetic Biology. Since joining the board, Thomas has demonstrated a reasoned and balanced approach to decision-making and put himself forward for key responsibilities in making a success of the centre. He has proven himself to be an involved and, invaluable, and valuable leader. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr Thomas Aldridge the President's Medal for Outstanding Early Career Researcher in recognition of his outstanding contribution to research. Dr. Rebecca Santa Maria Fernandez to the stage. President's Medal for Research Support Excellence. Dr. Rebecca Santa Maria Fernandez combines excellent negotiating skills with tireless dedication to build strategic relationships between global corporations and the college. As Director of Industry Partnerships and Commercialization for the Faculty of Engineering, her ability to gain and nurture the trust of key players allows her to develop innovative solutions to tackle key challenges and assemble highly skilled teams. Rebecca has a proven track record in securing major new industry research and commercialization partnerships for the college and in recruiting and developing an excellent team of partnership and commercialization professionals. Her team is instrumental in facilitating research collaborations with industry, assessing engineering inventions, and securing commercialization deals, regularly going well above expectations in her commitment to the role. For example, Rebecca's work in the energy sector, particularly with Shell, has far exceeded expectations. She was the key person involved in responding to Shell's desire to establish a number of multidisciplinary labs at Imperial, to exploit the college's internationally recognized expertise in work focused on the low carbon energy transition. It is notable that in her time at Imperial, her team has facilitated 
over 400 opportunities with industry, with a combined value of over £150 million. Following our move to bringing technology transfer back in-house, Rebecca has led licensing IP to over 20 engineering startups and filing of over 100 new inventions. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Rebecca Santa Maria Fernandez the President's Medal for Research Support Excellence in recognition of her outstanding contribution to research. Now to the honorary degree. Will Butler Adams is a highly innovative engineer and business leader who began his career as a chartered engineer working for DuPont, Nissan, and ICI. He joined Brompton Bicycle in 2002, became its director in 2006, and managing director in 2008. Under his leadership, the company has grown exponentially to become a major UK-based manufacturer and exporter with a turnover of 85 million pounds a year and a workforce of over 700. As the company's managing director, he has led the detailed incremental development of the core folding concept and been instrumental in the early development and introduction of bike hire systems. He's consistently championed and developed UK manufacturing, and his engineering approach is distinguished by close attention to detail and quality while embracing opportunities for innovation. Mr. Butler Adams was awarded an OBE in 2014 for services to UK manufacturing, and he is a visiting lecturer at Imperial College London. He is a fellow of the City and Guilds Institute, the Institute of Mechanical Engineers, and the Royal Geographical Society. He was chair of the Vibrant Economy Commission, a founding trustee of Inspiring the Future charity, and was involved in the setup of the UK Commission for Education and Skills. Mr. Butler Adams is on the board of Investors in People, supporting its transition out of government into an independent community interest company. I therefore invite you, Chair, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Mr. Will Butler Adams an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of his contribution to the field of engineering, design, sustainability, innovation, and business. brings us almost to the end of these proceedings and I'd just like to add my congratulations, my heartfelt congratulations to everyone who has graduated today. Uh, you know, I think it's an amazingly impressive group of people who come to this college, study, succeed, overcome challenges, learn a huge amount and then go out to make a difference to the world. And I think that's something that you should focus on as you go forward from Imperial. You know, 
you have been equipped, particularly as engineers, to make a difference to the world we live in. There are so many challenges that are ahead, and you know, you can, every single one of you can make either a little difference or a big difference. You have to decide how big your appetite is. But you know, please, please, please try to make a positive difference to our world. Now, we've come through all sorts of challenges while you've been at Imperial. COVID hasn't been vanquished, but it's been managed at least. Brexit, well, we're still in the foothills. I think we are still, you know, the biggest challenges have still to come. <clears throat> we now have to deal with the impact on the world of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. World stability disturbed, global economies destabilized, and the human cost, most serious of all, I think, deaths, injuries, over two million refugees and mounting, and so on. The outlook for world peace looks very different from just a few weeks ago. Let's think for a moment of students uh, in Ukraine and the challenges they're currently facing. Not many of them are currently students. They're probably either refugees or besieged residents or possibly serving in the military. Um, either way, their studies, their education has been interrupted in a way that's sort of hard for us in this country to get our minds around. And of course, lying ahead, we have the huge challenge of climate change and getting the world to, to net zero by, you know, whenever, 2050 or what. Um, so whatever your discipline, you can and should try to make a difference wherever in the world you're going to be. Remember, you can't change the past, but you can change the future. You know, the future is changeable, it is manageable. Don't feel you're leaving Imperial. As you go forth to do whatever you'll choose to do in the future, wherever in the world you're going to be, and for me, one of the amazing things about this afternoon is seeing, you know, such a incredibly diverse group of students coming through here, uh, so many different nationalities and, and, and so on. Um, so wherever you're going to be, don't feel you're leaving us all together. As you go forth to do whatever you choose to do, you'll still be part of the Imperial family and we'll still be keen to hear of your progress and your achievements. Now, I'm coming to the end of my remarks, but before I close, I'd ask you to join me in thanking everyone at Imperial who's helped to get you to this point, your tutors, your professors, and other academic staff, and all the other Imperial staff who play a vital role in making this great institution function. Now, you've already done this once for Ian, but I reckon that was a bit of a practice warm-up, and you can do a whole lot better now. So please, please, thank everyone at Imperial who's helped to get you to the point you're at today. much better. Um, and I think we should also repeat the round of applause to our families and friends and partners and all of those who have helped support all of us, all of you in particular, as you've got through the last few challenging years. You know, it's other people play a vital role in, I think, helping you to achieve success. Um, and I think we should give them an enormous hand. So please, please lift the roof off with another round of applause for all your family and friends. Terrific, and I'm sure if your family are out there watching this, you know, online or whatever, they will, they will be touched and appreciate the fact that you haven't forgotten them and their part they played in getting you here. Now, we're almost at an end, um, but in a moment we'll have the national anthem, so please be patient and wait for that. And then the academic procession, uh, the academic procession does not wish to be killed in the rush for the exit door, so if you could hang back for a minute or two while we get out of here. And then, frankly, I hope you go out and have a fantastic celebration. You deserve it after all the work you've done. Um, so thanks again, and once again, congratulations. <laughs>